What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here, bringing you guys another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And today, guys, what you're going to be watching is Game 5 of my head-to-head -head season series. Uh, this is the All Madden Second String Division. Again, guys, this is my first time being in the All Madden Division, so first time playing against the people who typically have a little bit better teams, typically are a, bit, a little bit better players, but we're so far 4-0. So I'm feeling pretty good about my chances. Uh, I mean, I've actually felt like I've played fairly well in those games. Uh, and uh -oh, guys, we're going to get things started alert. here on the first drive of the game. Trying to move the ball, and oh my goodness. Throwing just an awful pick over the middle. Terrible, terrible pass. Terrible decision, and, and really not a good throw either on that play. Now we're going to try and keep him out of the end zone here. That's really the key. Great pass by my opponent there. He had two guys going over the middle, and I had to choose one. He ended up making the right decision to uh, pick up good yardage there third and inches he does pick up the fourth uh, the first down excuse me to avoid fourth down and then he is going to make this pass into coverage I thought he got into the end zone right there he did not we made actually a couple of stops at the goal line but on third down he was able to finally run it in with Robert Griffin the third so he is up seven to nothing early in this one guys and I was a little bit worried when that happened I'm not even going to lie to you but Jeremy Hill is going to turn things around for us very quickly with a big run there and we're going to continue to try and play action pass him and uh you know make the make him think that we're going to run the football and, and the way that we have to do that is to continue being effective running the ball and that's what we're trying to do here just trying to establish that running game as much as we possibly can here so that we can set up the play action pass unfortunately it really didn't work out on this drive at the end brought up a fourth down here fourth and seven and i am just going to take my field goal here down four points but i'm feeling okay about it because really my opponent hadn't really done a whole lot on offense uh he really just pretty much had uh that ball given to him and he's gonna throw a little pass here down the field to trey mason into basically triple coverage and doesn't throw an interception which then allowed him to throw another slant pass up the middle for the first down Oh, that stuff's frustrating, man. When uh, when you should make the stop, when you should get the interception, and it just doesn't give it to you. That is so damn frustrating. And then, of course, they convert the next play. And he was really doing a great job with these slants over the middle. I, I knew eventually that I was going to have to actually stop them. And right there, we actually uh, jammed there with Joe Hayden. He tried to throw a wide receiver sque screen, and we swatted it away, which uh, was a great play. So uh, later on this drive here, we knew it was going to be a lot of long passing after he got that fumble because because it basically knocked him back 18 yards. So he ended up throwing an interception there, which was huge. Unfortunately, now we take a sack there on second down. Brings up a third and 12 here. And damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I'm going to basically take another sack. Might as well have been another sack. So I unfortunately couldn't do anything on that drive either. I'm really struggling on offense in this one, guys. Really, really struggling. As my opponent's going to throw it again into coverage. And again, we come up with the interception. Our second pick of this game. So we should have had one on that first drive. Or uh, excuse me, on that second drive. But we eventually did get it. Uh, and then uh, we got another one there. So we have two interceptions here. Really just need to, to not turn the ball over myself. And I'm going to throw a big pass here beautiful throw by ultimate legend Mike Vick down the field to team of the week Calvin Johnson a huge gain for us and again we're going back to that counter run with Jeremy Hill big pick up there second and inches easy pass to Rob Gronkowski and he hit me after the play which was of course a 15 yard penalty sets us up here first and goal for the touchdown, Calvin Johnson, that post route is so difficult to defend at the goal line, and he did a great job there of holding on to that one. So now we're up 10 to 7, guys. Things could have definitely gone way worse for us uh, after that opening interception, but we have fought our way back. We've, we've scratched and we've clawed to get back into this game. And now we've got a three-point lead. So I was feeling pretty good about my chances. Unfortunately, he's starting to get some good blocking on his own counter runs there. That is Trey Mason. Uh, another big run by him. And now Darren Sproles is going to beast me. A uh, beautiful spin move there, man. I, I have to respect. Game recognized game. You know what I'm saying? So uh, on this play, though, you got to be kidding me. Oh, Keekly should have had the sack. And then he's able to fire it into the end zone after that for a touchdown. Oh, just heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking because that should have been a big sack for us and of course i'm gonna take another sack here jason pierre paul comes off uh, off of his block and makes a big play third and 11 i i'm just i'm kind of raging at this point i can't even lie to you guys so i decided to go for it there on fourth down 
Thankfully, we pick it up, and Gronkowski is going to go for a huge gain here. Guys, this is already near the end of the third quarter, and I've barely had the ball, it feels like. But we are going to run here for a big gain. Jeremy Hill gets into the end zone, and again, we have the lead, 17-14. to 14. Fourth quarter just beginning here, and my opponent is going to continue to move the ball through the air. RG3 just having a great day, other than those interceptions where he threw it into coverage. He just he was doing a great job uh, firing the ball in there, into coverage, and really making great passes. Um, and it's just so frustrating, especially when you're struggling to stop the run like I was here, you know? Um, I mean, the fact that he's able to take off with RG3, and RG3 was making passes and breaking tackles and everything like that, so very, very difficult to defend. And there you see it. Great example of RG3 being just so diverse with the, uh, the things that you can do with him on the field. He was able to avoid me there, and then he kind of sucked me in, and I had to drop off of my coverage to try and stop him. Really, really frustrating thing there. And there he's going to throw it into coverage again and comes up with it. Guys, 23 seconds left. He has to score here somehow. Ugh, what a great pass by my opponent there. And he is going to be able now to get into the end zone. Trey Mason, touchdown. Ugh, just a big killer there, unfortunately. But we've still got a chance here. We're going to throw this thing deep down the field, and there's no way I'm getting a deep ball. Yeah, unfortunate there, guys. I didn't play my best game here. A um, couple of bad throws by me. But, I mean, really, I, I feel like... I, I really feel like the game came down to a couple of plays there. That broken tackle by RG3 was just massive where he was able to throw it into the end zone for the touchdown. So, uh, I mean, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, a couple of the, the passes that he threw that were absolutely into coverage didn't get picked. And, you know, that's just when you give your opponent that's actually a good player that many opportunities, eventually they're going to convert. And he did. So congratulations to him. He actually played a pretty good game here. Got to give him credit. So that was my first loss in this division, guys. The All Madden second string division, 17 to 21. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. It was frustrating to me while I played it. Uh, but, I mean, at least he didn't just throw up streaks the whole game. I mean, he, he played a legitimate style of football. So I got to give him credit on that. So thank you again, guys. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.